Hey guys, this is Ajil from Proactive K9. In this video, I'm gonna tell you about our perfect guard dogs known as the Doberman Pitcher. It's a domestic dog which was created in the late 1800s by a German tax collector named Karl Friedrich Louis Doberman. He planned to invent this breed to guard him while he went on to collect tax from taxpayers. By the late 1890s, when Louis Doberman died, the guard dogs were in great demand. Later, the breed name was changed into Doberman Pinscher in honor of Louis Doberman. In English, the name means Doberman Terrier. In late 1949s, when the breed came into Britain, they shortened its name to Doberman because they are clearly not terriers. After the World War I, the breed became popular as a guard dog in the US. Today, they are the 19th most popular breed. The lifespan is about 10 to 14 years on average. The Doberman needs socialization and training at an early age because they are strong, energetic and will learn very quickly. They are known as the fifth most intelligent breed in the category of obedience command training. These dogs are muscular and have a thick bone structure. The males weigh about 45 to 50 kg and the females weigh between 35 to 40 kg. The breed also has some serious health issues like von Willebrand disease, hip dysplasia, cardiomyopathy, hypothyroidism. There are two different types of Doberman, the American and the European variety. Both are great dogs, but they have some different characteristics. An American Doberman is thinner and more sleek looking. They have thin slender legs and light color rust markings. The American version is less of a working dog. They do better in a family environment and are great show lines because American breeders are more likely to desire a show dog that can win impressive titles which in turn can help the breeder to produce more desirable offspring in the future. American Dobermans can and do work in personal protection roles, but they don't excel at it as often as the Europeans do. Since these dogs were invented to be a guard dog, they needed to look ferocious and intimidating, so it is common that many owners crop the ears and dog the tail. But many see this process as cruel and unnecessary and certain countries have even banned the act. On the other hand, the European Doberman is certainly different from its American counterpart. They are larger, broader heads, broader chest, more muscle and have darker colored rust markings. Their overall bone structure is thicker. European Dobermans are also said to possess a significant amount of prey drive and stamina. They also tend to make great military, police and rescue dogs for this reason. The European variety can work hard because they aren't show dogs like their American counterpart. Doberman is not good for a family environment since they tend to bond with a single handler instead of the whole family. The coat of the Doberman is not very thick and because of that Dobermans really hate cold climate. They thrive in warmer climates. Many times Dobermans can be seen sitting and sunbathing in direct sunlight. The Doberman we know today is much much calmer since many breeders selectively breed them to bring down their aggression so their litter can better adjust in urban environment. The Doberman adapts well to most environments but the breed requires a lot of exercise and is recommended for owners who have an active lifestyle. I hope this video helps you to have a better understanding of the breed. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned.